so here it is guys this is my new bike I want to do a little kind of walk around uh, showing it off slash kind of first impressions review of it um, so this is the brand new uh, 2023 or Bea Wild M10 uh, now I had the first generation of the 2020 model so I can compare this model to the which is the first of this new design to the first of the old design so basically I went for this color here which is called cosmic carbon it's one of the standard colors you can get it's quite hard to show it but it does have like a kind of see if you, see if you can see it there it's like a purple slash gold kind of uh, reflective almost glitter in it uh, which looks really cool in the sunlight it is quite hard to see it on the phone um, but yeah you can see it there which I think looks quite cool the other color it comes in is like a gray sort of white color and black uh, I think this was the nicer color um, so I'm pretty happy with it it looks far better in person than it does on the photos so basically compared to my old bike I notice a hell of a lot of difference with this bike um, probably mainly due to the fact that with this model there's not a removable plate there anymore that battery is see well not sealed but the only way to get it out is by dropping the motor so basically what that means is you can't remove the battery anymore which might put some people off but uh, it means that the frame is now stiffer and also they can make it lighter as well because there's not that that big hole there um, which I notice a lot that uh, it's a lot quieter than my old one was uh, there was like kind of slight rattling noises and whatever due to that that bottom cover so I'm uh, quite happy with this one and I didn't normally take the battery out of the old one anyway so that won't affect me too much but it might put some people off so let's talk about the price uh, this bike retails for £8,000 which is quite a lot of money when uh, the 2020 model when it came out it retailed for £6,500 and on paper the spec was actually better of that bike as well uh, which I'll walk through with you just now so basically no Kashima on this model which my old one had it would have been nice to have the the Kashima on it but uh, never mind uh, but to be honest the performance is exactly the same um, well actually I'm noticing these forks and shock are better than the ones that were on my previous bike because they're a newer model obviously but the Kashima would not have made them any better I don't think the next thing is these brakes now my old bike had XT brakes on it these I've only got Dior's but these new Dior's I cannot notice the difference between these and the XT's not one bit so it doesn't really matter as long as the performance is there I'm not really too bothered um, so I don't actually see the point in buying <laughs> SLX or XT's anymore or even the XTR's these are all all the power you'll need um, actually slightly more modulation I think than my XT's but then they would be the an older model than these so that comes to play into it as well one thing that is an upgrade from the previous model is the integrated system of the Bosch motor there so much cleaner um, obviously I don't have a display system anymore but for me I'd rather the cockpit was kept looking clean so you've just got the controller here if I turn it on there we go that's in tour drop it down that's in green for eco and then you just put to go up the modes that's pretty much all you need if you want all the data and stuff like that there is the option to put a display system on it but for me I'd rather just keep it looking as clean as possible I think it looks much better so in this model it's also got the integrated hosing there now 
I'm not 100% sure about this, if I'm being honest. Um, that's probably going to make maintaining the bike a bit of a nightmare at times. We'll see how we get on with it, but it, uh, it does look clean, but it doesn't fill me with confidence. So yeah, on paper, um, this bike isn't actually as well specced compared to when my old model came out for more money but the performance of this bike is just so much better than the old one uh, I've, only, I've only been riding it for a week and I'm noticing a big difference my old one was a large I've gone for an extra large this time I've sized up um, which uh, has made a little bit of a difference I'm noticing it more in the tight tricky switchbacks where yeah it's a bit more of a handful to get around but on the fast flat out sections it feels a lot more stable than my old bike i think you've got to kind of size up with our bear the sizes come in slightly small compared to other brands but uh yeah i'm i'm quite liking the the bigger size of this anyway so another thing i like about this new model compared to the old one is down here they have upgraded, well, in my opinion, they've upgraded slash replaced the cheap rubber pushing uh, cover that you used to get. Um, it, was a, it was a bit fiddly to kind of push it into place sometimes and then, completely my own fault, but a few times it wasn't quite noticeable when you left it open. So you'd get halfway down a trail or you get to the bottom of a trail on a wet day and then realise, oh, I've left the cover off or open, you know. This one, it's like a plastic sort of twisting one. So you pull it out, show it from this side. You pull it out, spin it around, clicks there. There's your port. And then you pull it back out, spin it back around, and it just clips into place like that. Which uh, I think is a bit of a better design, a bit more noticeable when you've got it open as well, so you remember to close it. Um, I did get used to the the old design after a while, but I'm quite liking this one. Um, hopefully, it's uh, not it'll last and it won't break or anything like that. But a bit too early to say. Also, they've now on this model they've got this flap here. That's obviously to stop. Um, that's to stop rocks or any kind of dirt going in there and wrecking your frame, which hopefully should do its job. Ah, yeah, another thing. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take Bosch to finally figure out that their badges don't stay on for very long. This one only lasted a day and uh, it's come off already. Not too bothered really, to be honest, but yeah. I'll not be getting that badge back, I've no idea what it is. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, not really much else I can say at the moment, because I haven't had it that long, but I think it looks the business. Uh, the colour is really, really nice. You can kind of see the, the purple slash gold speckles through it there. But uh, the camera doesn't do it justice, you have to see it in the flesh. So, that's pretty much it. Not much else to say, so hope you enjoy this video, I'll see you later.